All right, uh, we are here at Table Talk TV T3 with uh, our guest Allison and returning guest Zach uh, to talk about uh, things that we're going to do before the world ends in, what, eight days now? Eight days from, uh, from filming. Um, so I'm just going to start this out, guys, with uh, I want to... Uh, I want to find out. I want to have an endangered wild game dinner, which we talked about. Yeah, in yeah. Three. Um, like I, I add to that. I want to eat the puffer fish, but I want to take it one step further. Zach's gonna self prepare this. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We're gonna just watch a YouTube video. Well, I'm sure nobody else is join, gonna join. I'm gonna cut it up, sushi it, throw on some rice, and see how it goes. See if I can actually die before the end of the world. Are you gonna use soy on that? You, and wasabi. I mix it together. You know, I'm kind of American. Oh, man. that's pretty. That's pace. really American. That's super American. <laughs> <laughs> um, Allison, you want to comment on the the endangered game dinner? Mm, I don't eat you, animals. I want it. I feel like I would go to a zoo and just kind of run around with all of them. I feel like that'd be a good time. Oh, you you want to Jumanji it? Yeah. Okay. Like like some jump jump and jump in the tiger pit. Just yeah. Like like you want to wrestle okay, a tiger so we'll and like. Just mess with them. What, like, get um, them pissed like, off. Like, try to ride See what it. they'll do. I, I'm feeling that. Give us your five enclosures, non-life threatening that you would go in then. The animals? Yeah. Mm. Penguins. Oh, good job on penguins. Giraffes. Monkeys. What monkeys. kind of monkeys? Wait a minute. Monkeys, uh, monkeys are terrifying. Little, yeah. The little, little ones. They will still kill you. I don't yeah. know my species of monkeys, so okay. I wouldn't be like able to. Like spider monkey. Like spider monkey. I'm pretty. Those are the ones it's with the either, long tail, long And tail I want. Oh, I need the producers to fact check this in post. But there, I believe it's either spider monkeys or maybe even rhesus monkeys. That um, there's a zoo in Cambodia that like there's a sign that said "Do not bring your infant in here because they will knock you down and then eat your infant." Yeah. You know, it's happened like three times. Yeah. yeah. There was like a. a uh, what, what's the what's the monkey called with the bare ass? Yeah. When I was younger, got poop thrown at me. By a baboon. They they Had enjoy throwing feces. Oh yeah, like they're they're mean. So Real I'm, mean. And they it's, also it, actually the zoo is a good place to go if it's the end of the world to acquire meat for our endangered species dinner. Wow, I didn't even think of that. They're all stationary. They're uh, used to people. Yeah, they're used to people. We can just go there and poach. Yeah. <laughs> I would. What about uh, Galapagos tortoise soup? The, evidently, um, tortoise used to be a big thing to make stuff out of. What yeah. do you make stuff? Yeah. Like, like you take the shells, you make guitars and Oh, yeah, like you can make like a stuff. bongo and stuff. Yeah, like until it became super endangered. I could see that. I could see, it's, like, it's like the... Uh, That's probably why they're super endangered. It's like a more delicious version of the Native American buffalo where nothing went to waste. Yeah, it was, it was a big thing um, <laughs> when troops came back from uh, the Pacific Islands. Oh, they, 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 enjoyed, you know. they enjoyed the taste. I mean, they, they, obviously, we, we talked about this before we came on. The endangered rhino that's severely, heavily guarded. African white rhino. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, like you, gotta, you gotta take them down. I mean, that's like special ops mission right there because you're under fire and you're trying to hunt, hunt a giant ass beast. I said ass again. Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Anyways. I'm just gonna keep uh, snowballing with mine, guys, because I have actually written notes down on like any of you slackers. Um, I want to get every computer virus. I want to see what happens. Maybe if the producer would tell us the topics before it's midnight the day before we film. I, I totally agree with that. I, I at least found uh, our fourth guest yeah, today. Yeah, you did, you did do some recruiting. At, at midnight. Zach. Despite I think I did darn good. Despite your obvious uh, disability in recovering from the ACL tear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah I'm, I, I'm a get, I, I call it the pimp walk, you know. I just got gangsta wing. That's it's, all. Yeah. <laughs> it's, most people call it actually limping, but you call it the pimp walk. Uh, no, but I wanna, anyways, you, you know, what, why do you want to get computer viruses? I, I say collect mm -hmm. all the STDs in the world. You got to get them all like Pokemon. That's, I, I was actually going to make the, uh, the analogy that I, I want to make the uh, computer version of Lindsay Lohan. Nice. And literally <laughs> just make it the dirtiest. The end of the world, and I think you'll agree with me, is about having all the asinine little fun that you would not have if it wasn't almost the end of the world. Like having an endangered species dinner. Like purposely wrecking your computer. Like uh, breaking into the Skywalker Ranch and taking a poop on George Lucas's uh, front porch. Thank you for the nerd advice, Sean. No problem. Um, <laughs> I would go skydiving. You want to know what Sean's doing for the end of the world? Literally watching a marathon of Doctor Who. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll agree with that. It's, no. That's what he does anyways every other day. No, uh, 
All the drugs. All of them. All at once. A at one five wait, minutes. Jesse, can I give you some advice for the end of the world? You know, there get get a haircut, man. There you might want to research <laughs> this, Jesse. There's this artist out there that has taken different drugs, then has done pieces of art based on what drugs he has done and it's labeled. You should look that up. It was actually pretty interesting. Like, I mean everything. Shrooms, LSD, acid, mixing different drugs. I think you would enjoy that. I've, I've seen some of that. It oh, does, he's already on top of it. Yeah. It's one of the few things he is on top of. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, a, that's an AO. Um, also, uh, I want to do, I've, I've tr attempted one before. I, I want to complete and by complete, I mean successfully do an internet food challenge, such as uh, the uh, tablespoon of cinnamon, uh, the egg, or the uh, milk chug. Saltines in a minute. Saltines in a minute, something so like you that. You mean successful as accomplished? Yeah, most you're of them. You're just going to try it. No, most of them are you have to not vom. Right, right. And that's what, that's what I would and, consider. And, and, and I, th I think the, one of the s most stupid ones I did was before the bar one night. And I don't even think it's on there now. Maybe we should try to do this one. A cup of protein shake, dry, and try to swallow it down. I don't, I see, I have pretty bad dry mouth anyways. I, like powder, the cinnamon one is the one that, that scares me the most. Yeah. The one that I've actually seen completed is uh, three, you eat two or three bananas and then you chug a one liter of Sprite. And you it's know, supposed I, to, apparently there's a chemical reaction that automatically I, makes I you I have seen up. that one yeah. accomplished. Uh, they just did it on one of the hot rod shows that I watch. Um, that features <laughs> Jesse J. What hot rod show are you watching where they're like, it's, it's, hey, it's let's see if we don't, let's see if we do. It's Garage. They, they were down, the due date, three bananas, drank, uh, I think it was a liter of Sprite, but then they had run this obstacle course. And oh, that was who didn't puke, and one guy didn't puke. So they took it one you, step you know further. What, so I, I think that one's on the lower level. I want to drink a two liter of Diet Pepsi and then start swallowing Mentos. There, huh. what, there what does go. that do? It kind of explodes. Have you ever put a... Mentos and a bottle of Pepsi, or like a two liter it Diet Coke. Really fast no, I go out on right. dates and stuff, man. I don't. <laughs> you don't. You don't. You don't. It, da it's, you it's don't like dabble. <laughs> in, you don't dabble in homemade rocketry out of two liters. No, no, no. I get most of my ballistics it, off. It's of like YouTube. a mild dry ice bomb. That's that. That's interesting. I, I would, I would be. Uh, I mean, Alka Seltzer does the same thing, though, right? I, I, evidently, it's something with Mentos and Diet Coke works the best. Huh, huh. Um, any. Peanut gallery, what are we what are we doing? What are you doing during the end of the world? Jumping my car, literally ramping trying, your car, trying to fly Dukes of Hazard. Are you? Uh, what, what's your? I mean, I know you're probably going for the the UP to hide out during the apocalypse. Oh yeah. Assuming that you think you can survive it, this isn't uh, an extinction level event like an asteroid or something. Like, where 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 are you hunkering down? I Allison? don't want to survive it. If it's gonna be anything like The Walking Dead after, I don't want to be alive. Okay, so you don't want to survive the zombie apocalypse. I know Sean no. doesn't want to either. I, you I, don't want ideally, to, you I want don't to be want in to the zombie exactly. apocalypse. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I could I, go for that. Um, you know, for me, I'm actually, uh, we're throwing a party at a bar, so I'm going to a bar and I'm just going to get drunk. It's just going to be like any other night, you know? See, see if you can survive the night. I'm, I'm aware that it's going to be about any other night, but I like pretending that this whole Mayan thing might happen. Okay, quick, uh, quick thing. It's a flood. What are we doing? Swimming. I got a boat. I, I'm good. I literally have two boats next to my house. I, I got I got one just in case. In my in my driveway, I got one at my buddy's house. So so we're good. Okay. So, so you're gonna see me. So world's flooded though, guys. Fun. Three days later, you're running out of canned tuna. Like what what's your plan? Fishing. Fishing. We're going I'm going water world. I, don't think I got a fish. spear. I got a scuba mask. This man is prepared. Okay, first of I all, I got a jar of let's, dirt let's, <laughs> I don't, that I'm going to sell. <laughs> and a lemon tree. <laughs> a lemon tree. There you go. And uh, um, a, dis Actually, a the distiller for urine. The lemon tree is going to be essential to stave off the scurvy. Yeah, you know, you got to make sure, properties, by the way. Um, clean wounds. Well, do shots of tequila. You, you definitely need a lemon tree around at the end of the world. And uh, just to let you guys know, for all of you that are uh, trying to circumnavigate the globe in a sailboat, uh, do not take limes out there. They do not contain enough vitamin C to stave off scurvy. Uh, that was a myth perpetrated by British sailors. You can fact check me on that, by the way, Sean. You need um, le lemons or oranges? You need lemons or oranges. You need, huh. ci you need legit who, citrus fruit. Who I know? Hmm. Um, uh, um, apparently not Magellan when his sailors started dying of scurvy and were still eating limes. Oh,